PBT location. PVT location. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really shooting bare faced guns. Gibby. Gibby. This one's about to die. Sen Benani. A ton of guy. Let's start again. Just absorb that morning energy. Sanbonani Batandekayo, I have bought you another review. Do you know that this review was inspired by simply waking up in the morning and being me? I woke up, grabbed a shower, you know. I have like 30 minutes of social media time in the morning but in the evening just to check what was trending like the night before and what has been trending the whole day. So, grab my phone. First thing I do is hop on Facebook. Go through Facebook, stroll on my Facebook. And this motherfucker is living. <laughs> hey, yeah. Like, what <laughs> Okay, anyways, this is a story time about my first hell date. <sighs> Let me get where my prayer beats at. <clears throat> on my first hell date. And, shoo, let's get into it. So, <laughs> rewinds like three years ago? Three? Yeah, three years ago, 2015. It's not 2015, since no, it's 2015. Yeah, 20, May 4th, 2015. Eidetic memory sucks sometimes, but hey, here we are. So, I've been chat. Dude sends me an in, invite. Like, this was after a rave that we went to, and you know, I was like, oh hey, it was like, oh hey, and then. You know, the bonds, like the combos communicated and uh, he invited me on Facebook on May 4th. I took like a week and a half to accept it because I was also trying to remember who this was. And then like literally woke up on the 13th and I was like, okay, cool, accept request. Like, dude didn't even take like one minute. I already had Hey Beautiful inbox. And my DMs. Okay, cool. So everything is Gucci. Everything is Gucci. And, you know, we start chatting. As people, we start chatting. Um, small talk things. And it wasn't a that. We were just chatting. We were just communicating, conversing. You know? I shop. Then, like after like six months of conversing, dude comes up with a way to ask me on a date. A hell date. <laughs> oh, a date that was pulled right out of the pits of hell. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I mean, you guys will be the judge of this. Uh, <laughs> so cool things. I'm like yo yo cool let's meet at the mall i have errands to run the whole day anyways and yeah let's meet at two o'clock please remember two o'clock okay so this was like a week before the date it really was it was a week before the date and i was super amped you know like couple of months later we're in august it's like a couple of weeks to my birthday and i was feeling you know i was ready and okay cool i planned my outfit what i was gonna do with my hair i wore my hair out that day 
what I was gonna do with my hair and what was gonna happen to my face. You know, all of the important things to a goosey. Mm. So, after that, it's like cool. I got to the mall like two hours early because like I said, I had errands to run in and around the mall, all right? So, got in, did some shopping, picked up some stuff, and yeah, like <laughs> those are my errands, shopping. So after that, I went to the restaurant that we said we was gonna meet at. Get there, and I'm like, dude, where you, where you at? Then respond. Mm -hmm. Thirty minutes later, he says, "I'm still like ten miles away." Uh, wow! Like I understand why I was still sitting there. First of all, I didn't understand. So, anyways, I I think I like. I was in crash, not in love, in crash. I was in crash and yeah, man. So, okay. <sighs> Wait for this dude to live his best, whatever. And then he texts me. He's like, yo, I'm hopping onto the subway right now. And I was like, okay, cool. Very cool. Okay, then he dropped me a location of where he was. And <laughs> I don't even lie. I got started without him. I had my starter and paired it up with a good drink because I was getting fed at this time. I know a normal honey would have left and I know somebody who's watching this is going to slap me right now. Please, please. It's not me right now anymore. It was the younger me what was happening with us <laughs> I cannot tell you that so now it's like 3 p.m. okay cool whatever and then I went on to my main lunch main course um, and then chilled you know, marinated and more drank. And it was whatever. Another hour passes. Where are you? I'm five minutes away. Okay, cool. <laughs> hour passes. <clears throat> Why was she still sitting there? I don't know what I was still doing there. I really don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was still doing there. So, two hours later, dude tells me that he's just gotten off the subway. He's walking to me. Okay. And I was like, okay, cool. comes to the restaurant sits down he apologizes hugs me all sweaty so I should have stood up paid my bill and left but I didn't <clears throat> so you know I was chilling man like I was I was chilling I was already like half dead because me and my drank we were really tired at that particular juncture and cool so now we start chatting this that and the third I'm really irritated mm -hmm. so I'm not even listening to the chat that's being had I'm just on that mm-hmm mm, yeah mm-hmm 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 mm, mm -hmm. yeah mm. that's yeah mm-hmm so <laughs> So it's cool. I'm getting ready to leave. It's like 8, 8 p.m. I'm getting ready to leave. Asked for the check. 
and I didn't ask for a split check because it was one way it was either he paid the bill or I did and I'm not really used to splitting checks and he did say that he was stopping at the bank to withdraw cash okay anyways so <laughs> um, the check comes you know waiters automatically assume that the guy's gonna pay him they give him the bill he's searching in his pockets I know that there is nothing in damn pockets in those damn pockets there is nothing there is zero zilch haba hakuna nix agna nix do you understand hmm. I looked down at my phone. I'm like, oh, whoa. Okay, cool. I had, oh. When he got there, he ordered a beer and he ordered some fries. Like he had money for those things. Excuse me. What are you doing ordering things that you know you do not have money for? Waste. Waste, man. <laughs> Anyways. So, I decided, you know what, I did eat more, like, my food, like, the, the, the check, my food was like 80% of the check, like, and my drink. So I decided, you know what, actually, I should either split the check or pay, and I was like, no, it's fine, let me just pay, and I'm going home straight after this. Pay the bill, the waitress, the waiter looks really surprised, and I'm like, really? But anyways. So, <clears throat> excuse me, after paying the bill, um, I'm, I'm walking to get me an Uber to the drop off and pick up point of the mall. Dude is walking with me. I told him that I was leaving now. Like, I'm out. And okay, cool. So he's following me. I'm walking to the pickup. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna make sure that I'm safe. <laughs> I played myself. <sighs> so we get to uh, the place where I'll call me an Uber. Call me an Uber. And guy is like, oh, okay, cool. Well, bye. And I was like, okay, cool, bye. And then he was like, oh, one more thing. And I was like, no, gee. <laughs> gee, no, this is not okay. This is not okay. So he's like, yo, um, can you drop me off at this point? I'm like, okay, why are you going to that point? And he said, no, I'm looking for an area that has a lot, lot of like cabs yellow cabs and I was like dude you keep there are yellow cabs passing here it's like no it'll be less expensive for me if I take a cab from that point and I was like okay um we're gonna have to split this uber so I as before he hopped in I split the fare and if that is his business dropped him off wherever he wants to go because also it was counter my direction I was going that way, dude wanted me to go that way, and then back this way, like, no. Okay, so, as we get closer to the place where he has to be dropped off, he says, um, can you actually just drop me off at my cousin's place since we're splitting the fair? What did the fool say? The fool said yes. The fool said, whole K hit his whole K. Go and drop dude off at his cousin's place downtown. And then have to go back all the way to the Upper East Side. Anyways, um, oh, by the way, guys, this didn't happen when I was in South Africa. I have another South African health date. Anyways, so, um, 
go back home okay and i'm good i'm good with life you know i'm grand when i look at my uber price my uber bill rather for that trip it was 35 dollars instead of eight please understand me here sister brother 35 dollars instead of eight so 27 dollar difference like how did this even happen okay so okay cool so i'm like whatever i got home i didn't even text him i got home at 12 he messaged me did you get home safely i haven't said anything more and i was like bitch please you know that day was shitty so after i say that um <clears throat> dude like yeah no i'm i'll cash up you the money i'm so sorry for today i should have told you that something came up that ended up getting me cash strapped so why you come over there and order beer and fries if you knew you didn't have the money? Why you didn't organize your own transport if you knew that shit was gonna be a fuckery for you? Like why? Why? Why did you? Why did we have to go through all of that? Why did you have to put me and my coin through all of that? Like I was tripping for a good couple or some. So now fast forward. Oh, we're both South African. Well, we were both like people with South African background in New York. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> fast forward to December that year. Um, we both end up in Johannesburg. Okay. And I bump into him at one of our biggest malls in SA. He's sorry I still think that what he did was okay. And so cool, I let it slide, whatever. And so on the 16th, it's reconciliation day in South Africa. I put out a very long post, very like heart to heart post about people who owe me money, people who've done me bomb, people who've used me and tossed me aside, people who have done absolute nonsense and still think it's okay. People who are still yet to see their wrongs. Just people who fuck up. You know? So, put that post out. And after I put that post out, he sends me a message on Facebook. And he was like, yeah, no, look, listen, what I did that day was wrong. And I know I didn't cash up you this, that, and the third. And I ended up saying, dude, like, keep the money. Like, I don't care about it anymore. Just stay the hell away from me and stop feeding people lies on your socials. Because on his socials, he is living his best freaking life, you know? And he's driving around in cars and this and that and the third. But here you are. Here you are. Here you are. You don't have a car. Yet your whole Facebook believes that you are driving the latest Mercedes. Here you are, you are using a Tamagotchi and your whole Facebook believe that you have the latest iPhone. No, mate. This is not okay. People are unhealthy. People are so not healthy. But that was my health aids. It really caused, it caused me so much trauma. It really did. I was such a nice person. And it was a bad time for me. Like that, that, that year. At 2015 era it was a really bad time for me like in terms of people walking all over me because I'm petty I am vindictive and I am an asshole okay but during that year saying no was not the first answer saying yes and letting it ride out was my first option and then the revenge game okay so 
this morning this is why i thought of this this morning got out the shower and like i said i saw mf -er living his best life on my facebook so i haven't looked at my i hadn't looked at my facebook dms in like four months or so mm -hmm. and here all this human being says please send me a number where i can even let you cash dude like i don't know three years later you might as well write a check and send it to my grandmother That, that left oh, that left such a sour taste in my mouth. Anyways, thank you guys for sharing this deep moment with me. Moment that has left me scarred. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and switch your notification bulb on. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If there is anything that you want to see on my channel, please leave it down in the comment section below. And if you have some constructive criticism about what Guan, what Gooch, they said, you in the comment section. If you have anything similar to this that you have gone through, let us support each other in the comment section. Because honestly, men were trash, women are mad. We waste our coin on people who don't appreciate it and they feel these guys feel like they are inclined to your coin you know and it's in those broke days where you feel like where did i get so much money to do all of that nonsense like but anyways be beautiful be great and i will see you in the next video Please don't forget to click that subscribe button, switch the bulb, okay, if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and switch that notification Oh, okay, one more time.